Hey there everyone, this is Tech Jazz coming to you with a deck tech video for Red White Gideon Marshall Paragon intro uh, redesign. Uh, also, it would be considered a exertion deck due to the fact that everything in it is exert. Um, so I'll go ahead and start off with going through what each card is, what it does, how it contributes to a deck, and then uh, I'll go over pros and cons of the deck. So to start, we'll start with creatures, which to start us off, we have four glory bound initiates, one white, one colorless for three, one human warrior. Uh, you may exert glory bound initiate as it attacks. When you do, it gets plus one, plus three and gains lifelink until end of turn and exerted creature won't untap during its next untap step. Um, so, essentially, you exert it, when it attacks, it becomes a 4-4 four -four with lifelink, which is pretty good. Next, we have Nefcrop Entangler, which is 1 red, 1 white for 2-1 Trample. You may exert Nefcorp Entangler as it attacks. Uh, when you do, it gets plus 1, plus 2 until end of turn, so it makes itself a 3-3 three -three with Trample. Not as good as Glorybound, but it's... It's a good sub in if you don't draw into him. Next we have Honored uh, Crop Captain, which is one white, one red for three, two human warrior. Whenever Honored uh, Crop Captain attacks, other attacking creatures get plus one, plus oh until end of turn. Uh, so it just pumps everything up a little bit more when they attack. Devoted a uh, Crop mate, one white, two colors for a three two human warrior. You may exert devoted uh, crop mate as it attacks. When you do return target creature with converted mana cost two or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. So in other words, when it exerts, you could bounce anything, any creature with two or less mana from your graveyard to the field. Which I don't know if you already realize three different creatures all with two or less mana. So. He actually helps really well. Then we have two Ta Crop Elites, which is one white, three colors for two two bird warrior with flying. Uh, you may exert Ta Corp Elite as it attacks. When you do, creatures you control get plus one plus one to end of turn. So a lot like a uh, honored uh, Crop Captain, or yeah, Crop Captain. Uh, he just pumps everything else up when he attacks, just helps get more damage done. Now we'll get down to back row support. We have Cartoge of Solidarity, which is one white enchantment. Uh, enchant creature you control when uh, Cartoge of Solidarity enters battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one warrior creature with vigilance. Uh, enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one at first strike. Uh, Cartoge of Zeal, uh, one red. Uh, when it Cartoge of Zeal enters battlefield, target creature can't block this turn. Enchanted creature gets plus one plus one in haste. I will say now, I think these two Cartoges are probably the better ones of all of them, and the reason for that is it's one mana to give target creature you control plus one plus one in either first strike or haste. Then you can make it to where something can't block that turn or drop a warrior token. So either way, both of them are really good. Red one more if you're going on the offensive. White one if you want to go more into a defensive stance and hold out another turn with an extra creature. For removal, we're running Impeccable Timing, which is one white, one colorless, instant. Impeccable Timing deals three damage to target attacking or blocking creature. This is just in here for now. Um, I'll explain later on my issue with it, because I don't actually really care for it. Uh, next, we have Gideon's Resolve, which is one white, four colorless enchantment. When Gideon's Resolve enters battlefield, you may search your library and or graveyard for a card named Gideon Marshall Paragon. Reveal it and put it into your hand. If you search your library this way, shuffle it. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Again, it's another card that just pumps the crap out of everything, so everything gets really huge. 
And for the main card in the deck, Gideon Marshall Paragon, which is one white, four colors, uh, Planeswalker with five loyalty counters. He has a plus two, untap all creatures you control. Those creatures get plus one, plus one till end of turn. He has a uh, minus zero, which is his normal, uh, turn him into a five, five soldier with indestructible and prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to him. Um, then he has a minus ten. Creatures you control get plus two, plus two till end of turn. Tap all creatures your opponent controls. So he makes it to where you're going to end with a really strong offensive hit. Uh, for land, we're running four dual lands, 12 planes, eight mountains. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with my biggest concern with a deck, which is impeccable timing. Now... My issue with this, and it's not just the card, it's really just how standard is. Red and white don't have a good removal setup. They Red has a few good burn spells, but they don't have anything like a flame slash or some that's going to one-shot a creature for cheap mana. Um, at the moment, this is the best there is, in my opinion. Um... Four red and white. Now keep in mind in standard right now black has a uh, fatal push and several other things that are just far better than uh, impeccable timing. But I I'm just saying from my perspective, white and red don't have good removal setup. Um, outside of that, the there's not really any issues with deck. I mean you pump everything up huge i mean you get plus one plus one there plus one plus one there plus one plus one on both of those plus one plus one from uh elite and a plus one plus so on honor uh crop captain and on top of that both glory bound and uh, nef crop both pump themselves up so i mean it's you get a lot of damage done very quickly um now the reason Devoted crop mate is in here is because all three of them are two or less mana So if any of them die just exert him when he attacks he bounces them back to the field It makes it Difficult to deal with your creatures when they keep coming back Sadly when he dies he doesn't come back due to the fact that he's three mana, but it's acceptable being the fact that you're going to be bouncing the three of them back over and over again. Um, I will say now, everything in here comes in the intro deck, aside from, I believe, the Cartosia Solidarity. Um, so, honestly, all you have to do is buy two of the Gideon intros. You'll get everything in this deck, aside from the Cartosia Solidarity. You'll need to get two more Glorybound Initiates and two more devo uh, Devoted Crop Mates due to the fact that it only comes with one Glorybound Initiate each pack and one uh, Devoted Crop Mate each pack. And then I don't believe Cartosia Solidarity comes in that. I could be wrong, but I don't believe it does. Overall, price-wise, it's incredibly cheap to build. I mean... $30, and the $30 being to get two of the Gideon uh, Planeswalker packs will get you every single thing for this deck aside from needing the two extra Devoted Crop Mates, the two extra Glory Bounds, and the four Solidarities. Other than that, it is, like I said, really cheap to build, really really good honestly i mean everything everything works off of everything else the fact of the exertion making it to where you could they can only attack once every other turn gideon's first ability covers that now let me explain why you're already pumping everything horrendously huge off of everything so instead of just spending your time pumping them more with that Attack first, deal the damage, all that, then during your main, your second main phase, 
use his plus two ability to untap them into a defensive position. There is an easier way of doing it, or I don't know if it's easier, it's pricier or more expensive is using uh, Always Watching, which is a three cost enchantment from uh, Shadows Over Innistrad. It's two white, one colorless, non-creature, non-token creatures you control get plus one, plus one in Vigilance, which does pretty much the same thing Gideon's doing, but... It's an enchantment. My issue is enchantments are a little bit easier to destroy than what planeswalkers are. But eh, it comes down to perspective on that. Personally, I just like uh, the planeswalker format a little bit better for it. Um, overall, it is a really good deck. It's pretty quick for being uh, standard. Because I've noticed a lot of standard decks are a little bit slower in setup and don't move as fast. Um, overall, by turn 3, you could be looking at a total of up to 5 plus damage being dealt to your opponent. Um, overall, like I said, really good design. Everything pumps up to be monstrously huge. Most, this being said, a lot of burn decks don't seem to really have any effect on it due to the fact of Gideon's Resolve, uh, Solid this Cartoshes. Um, like I said, my biggest issue is removal, and it's not because of the deck itself, it's just because Standard has crap for white-red um, removal. So uh, if anyone has any suggestions for something better that's Standard for removal, that's in the red white color combination please leave a comment down below I would like to hear what other people have to say about it um overall like I said that's about it I mean pretty cheap deck to build really efficient uh, so yeah uh, so if you have any c questions or comments about the deck please leave a message down below and like and subscribe thank you